Hey Pamela, this is Nate. I know we've kind of talked about this a little bit before, but I wanted to put this quick video review together for you. Just kind of show you a little bit more about what we can do and how you can better rank your website, give you a few tips and tricks. I'm going to go over three things, content, citations, and backlinks, and we'll get into what those are. But I always start with the content. You know, I've got your site pulled up here, and there's not a lot here on the home page. We really recommend about 1,500 words on this home page and about 500 to 750 words on those back service pages. And the reason for that is you want to get those keywords and keyword phrases that people are searching on Google organically into the content on your page. It's not the only way to be found for particular keywords, but it is the easiest and fastest way for Google to find them and know that your site is relevant to what people are looking for. So I pulled up a couple of the top guys in your area that I found and, you know, scrolling down through the site, you know, nice layout, but they still don't really have a ton of content. You know, they got a couple small paragraphs about what they do, but that's really about it. So on the content side, these guys would not be hard to beat out. If you go over here, this is one of the other ones. And as you can see, this is actually their back page for your area. So this one should have, you know, around 500 to 750 words. And they're not terribly far off of that, but they're still probably not quite there. You know, they've only got really this section right here. But like I said, you really want to get those keywords and keyword phrases that people are searching into the content on your page. Arifs is one of the tools that we use to really break these down. And you are showing up for 156 keywords, which is really good. But if we go in here and look, like Auto Detailing Edmund, there's 350 people a month searching for that. And you're in the 16th position, which is about halfway down the second page. So you're getting about two visits a month to your site because of that keyword. Those are the keywords I like to see. I call them generic keywords because they say what you do and where you do it. And if people are looking for a detailing company in their area and don't really know who they're looking for, that's the kind of stuff that they're going to type in. You know, you've also got car detailing Edmonton down here. There's 400 people searching that. You're in the 21st position, which is the top of the third page. So you're really, you might get one a month on that as far as people coming to your site. Generally, the number one spot gets about a third of that traffic actually coming to their site. So looking back up here where there's 350, you know, you're probably looking about 110 to 120 visits a month to your site if you could get number one for this keyword. So think about what that additional traffic could do and how many of those people you could convert into customers, what that might do for your bottom line. The second, well, let's go back and check out their keywords too. Sorry about that. But, um, you know, going here, they've got 1,400 keywords showing up. These guys have 81 on this back page. I'm thinking these guys probably do a lot more than just detailing also, but we'll take a look and see what they've got. You know, see here, car detailing Edmonton, they are in the number one spot. And out of that 400 people, they've got 146 people coming to their website. The auto detailing Edmonton, they're also in the number one spot. Out of that 350 people, 114 of them are visiting their website. So, you know, that right there, you know, about 170 people coming to your site, you know, that would definitely change things as far as the number of those people you could turn into clients. The second thing are your citations. This right here, as you can see, I typed in auto detailing Edmonton. Sometimes there'll be some ads up here. Um, I've got some stuff on my computer with the plugins because what we can do a lot of times I don't see those ads. But um, then it goes right down into this map pack right here. You need to have your Google My Business page set up. If you don't have that done, you know, I can definitely help you walk through that. But you want to get that set up and you want to get it verified if you haven't done that. And then once that's done, you want to start adding citations. What a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number exactly the way that it's listed on your Google My Business page, put into multiple directories across the internet. There's Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. Some of those directories may be different in Canada. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just a matter of tracking down those directories and getting in there. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of these directories out there. And, you know, just get your information in as many of those as you can. There's three organic spots here. And then this guy's actually got a paid ad to be in the map pack. But we want to get you into one of these three spots here. Some of the other things that are going to 
affect getting into the map pack are going to be the number of views that you have, your star rating, the number of pictures you have on your Google My Business page, and making sure it is 100% properly filled out. So you want to beat these guys in all aspects of that game. But your citations are the biggest factor into getting in here. The third thing would be your backlinks. Currently, you're showing up for 143 backlinks. What a backlink is, is any website that has something I can click on that takes me back to your website. So say I found you in one of those directories and somewhere in your listing, I could click on something to go to your website. That's what a backlink is. It's kind of a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more popular Google thinks you are, and the more authority they're going to give your page. That being said, not all backlinks are created equal. You do want to avoid the spammy type of backlinks. They can actually affect your page and start pulling it down. But some ways to get backlinks, some of those citations will give you backlinks. There's blog commenting that you can do. There's guest posting on blogs that you can do. There's lots of ways to get them. If you're going to go the blog route, you want to keep them either local blogs or industry specific blogs. So either blogs about your area, you know, read up on some articles, post a comment, put a link in there. Some of those will give you backlinks and also do the industry, you know, the auto detailing type blogs because those are more relevant to what you do and where you do it. They're going to give you the most power and authority. So if we go over here and look, you know, these guys have 1400. These guys only have three, but this is their back page. So they're pulling power from their home page. So if I back out of here and just go back down to their main URL and research this, you're going to see that they've probably got a lot more backlinks than that. Yeah, so they've got 231. But what we can do because of the tools we have is we can go in here and see where these guys are getting their backlinks from. Check the power and the authority of these backlinks and see if they are the type of backlinks that we would want to get for you. And then we go into these same pages and try to get backlinks for you. I call it the copycat method. You know, find the guy that's winning, copy what he's got, find some more on our own and beat this guy in his own game. That is my basic overview for you. I really hope it helps you out. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. You know how to find me. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for your time.